Good morning. So today I will be making one of my favorite childhood foods. And even as an adult, it still remains one of my favorites. So I'm just gonna head over to the local grocery and see if I can gather all the ingredients. So is it just me or have you gone to the grocery and you got all the ingredients for your meal and you get home and you're like, oh yeah, I'm about to put my foot in this meal. And it tastes just like that, like you put your foot in the meal and not in a good way. But you're like, forgive me, Lord, but this whole pot has to go in the trash because this meal was garbage. But thankfully, after some practicing and some experimenting, I actually like my own cooking now. Now to the untrained eye, these might look like bananas, but these are actually plantains. And I guess the main difference is that with a banana, you can eat straight away, but with a plantain, you have to cook it before you eat it. And don't mind the outside. You know, it might look a little ugly outside, but that means it's sweet in the inside. Is it me or are these grocery plastic bags always the most difficult things to uh, open? They need to fix that. <sighs> Success. This is the most essential ingredient. Without this, uh, there's no soup. <laughs> It's a chill Sunday and today I will be cooking one of my favorite childhood meals and that's Caribbean style vegan split pea soup. I'm gonna just gather all the ingredients, wash and prep, and get started. But before I do that, one second, I'll be back. Oh uh, yeah, I got my chef apron and in my mind, it makes me feel like an official chef and also I think that the meal will come out better. Might be wrong, but that's what I feel. Originally, this all started with the idea of just spending more quality time with my mom. So I visit my mom, you know, at least once a week. And I'm like, you know what? We're gonna have some like cooking date nights with my mom and just bond with her and have her show me some of my favorite recipes. I encourage everybody to do that. You know, if you have loved ones that are still with you, just like a good food, savor those moments. So started doing that and man, <laughs> we just have a good time. We're just laughing and I'm like, Ma, you did what? You just find out so much things. I'm like, yeah, okay, now I see where I get some of these things from. Okay, so I've laid out all the ingredients. Yeah, let me wash all of this and 
chop it up. Oh yeah. And you know, I'm just looking at this food and it just, you know, I have to take a moment just to be thankful and appreciative that I have food on the table because I've, I've been there. I've been there where I wasn't in such a fortunate position and my heart goes out to people who are in a season of hardship and I just want to encourage you to remain faithful, double down on your faith because in doing so, you'll get all the tools and you'll have all the strength to get through that challenge. I'll be watching uh, cooking uh, shows and they'll be like, nah, I don't, know, I don't know how to do it. Take my time, I don't wanna lose a finger. So this is everything chopped up, finally. We are moving along. So what I'm about to do right now is, well, before I start, I will say this. The original recipe, my mom, she's a meat eater, so I've adapted it to a vegan diet and made it less witch brewery. <laughs> she's gonna kill me for saying that. But what I mean is that my mom is from the Caribbean, so she gonna put some chicken foot and, and turkey necks and yeah. But one thing that I wanted to preserve from the original recipe was some of the Caribbean seasonings. So I have this curry and amchar masala, and it's imported from the island of Trinidad and Tobago. And she's always like, get the one with the, the chief head. Get the one with the chief head. This has to be cooked, so what I'm gonna do is just cook the curry um, for about five minutes. And at the same time, I'm gonna saute the onion, the garlic, the pepper, and the celery. So I'm just adding some water now. Pour me out. Bacon powder. And some organic flour. Taking a little breather while the uh, split please cook down. But um, I was just thinking when it comes to making like a good tasting meal, something delicious, I think the secret ingredient is definitely cooking with love. Sometimes we forget that, like, you know, whether it's your wife or your, uh, or your husband and you're complaining about the food, you should be really appreciative and thankful that you have someone that loves you and just wants to cook for you. Cooking with love is definitely more important than someone cooking with technical skills. So now I'ma just add a bit of coconut milk and start seasoning. And now the funny thing is, when I was watching my mom show me, I'm like, how much, um, you know, for example, how much paprika you put? I'm thinking like tablespoons and again, she's like, uh, about trillies. 
Uh, oh, oh, oh. So that's what I'm gonna tell you, like three of these. <laughs> Five of these. And one of these. You know, you know basically just uh, season to taste. We are down to the wire. This is the last 10 minutes. Everything is cooked. And I'm going to add the okra and the chopped parsley. And that's it. And then I'm going to dig in. <laughs> Well, there you have it. Split pea soup, Caribbean style, vegan edition. As far as the meal, I think it's an extremely nourishing and healthy meal. It has all the major food groups and it's just filled with tons and tons of nutrients. But besides that, the message within this video is just the importance of cooking with love. I mean, the secret ingredient is cooking with love. Let's not get caught up in the technicality. That's another thing. Let's not get just appreciate that somebody's willing to cook for you and, 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 and love you. Yeah. So, with that being said, I appreciate you. I love you, neighbors. And may peace be with you. Now, let me see if this. Mm -hmm. I, ain't, I ain't quite hit my mother level, but I'm getting close. Cook off coming soon, ma. <laughs> mm-hmm.